Well, Dave, safe to say that's what the doctor ordered. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so, Nigel. Um, oh, delighted. Um, tough, tough day because we lost um, Kevin Porter's girlfriend, went into labour yeah. through the night, so we lost Kevin, which rightly so. It's a special moment for him, and we wish them all the best with the, with the newborn on the way. Um, unfortunately, Dahi McCallion got a, a slight hip um, injury yesterday morning and just never made the fitness test. But again, testament to that group of players in there. Um, Shane McMonagall. Kevin Jordan, you know, absolutely outstanding coming in, playing the full game and growing into the game really well. Um, but no, look, I think every one of them tonight can, can be proud. Um, I think we fully deserved the result. Um, yeah, I'm delighted for them. I th probably, it'll, hopefully, you know, that'll keep a few people quiet now yeah. for the next couple of weeks because uh, they're very quick to jump on some of these young boys. But look, we're, we're delighted. It's uh, a clean sheet is what I'm proud of. Three points on the board. And uh, delighted for the lads. Yeah, well, I was saying, you know, that's I was saying to one of the lads already, you know, that it's it, it, it was important after a couple of disappointing results to bounce back, and you know, and bounce back we did emphatically, really. Yeah, well, look, the disappointing result for us was obviously the, the one at Waterford United, uh, Waterford FC, sorry. Um, I don't think last week was a disappointing result. We were disappointed that we never seen out the game to win three points because I, I felt overall at Kerry we deserved the three points on the second half performance. But look. You know, a point away from home and a long journey. Um, we, we take it and we move on. Uh, that's nine games gone now. Should we have more points on the board? Yeah, absolutely. At least another two draws could have been victories. But it is what it is, Nigel. I, I, keep, I keep saying, you know, these boys work their socks off every day. They're proud to play for Finn Harps Football Club. Cheered on by another fantastic supporter again who've came out tonight and really got behind the lads and got behind myself and the staff. And that's all we ask for. Um, we keep going. Like I said, we're not going to be singing and dancing. It's three points. Um, takes us a little bit higher. But again, you know, that's nine games gone and uh, 27 to go. Yeah, and a, and a very positive performance as well with the lads and probably could have had more goals there today. Yeah, but look, again, you know, we, we, we challenged the boys before the game. Obviously, we, we, we changed the system a little bit um, to try and get our fittest 11 players on the pitch, which is what we've done. You know, you look at Michael Harris, had to play as a wing-back today. thought he was excellent. You know, what, what, he, what he lacks at times with his quality on the ball, um, he makes up for with his work ethic. He never stops working and running up and down for the team, and that's what we asked for, that maximum effort. You know, Ryan Rainey thought led the team excellently and deserved his goal. Great to get a goal from a set play. We've been, you know, asking the boys, uh, we, we do a lot of work on the set plays. Can we get one in a game? We've done it today. And then you look at the back three of Shane, Ellis uh, and Noah Baba, who were absolutely, you know, phenomenal with Tim. Tim, I mean, people don't realise, well, Tim dislocated his finger two days ago and still played. So for anyone out there that thinks these boys, you know, they, they don't take pride and, and, and desire in playing for Finn Harps Football Club, maybe pop down one day to, to Finn Park and come and see me in the office and we can show them exactly what these boys really appreciate um, being involved with this football club. Long may it continue. Yeah, and and look, uh, another debut tonight as well. Young Maxie Johnson, he's on the pitch for a couple of minutes and then a great moment for him. Yeah, look, it's great for him and that's what we're all, we're proud of having that pathway for the young players, Nigel. That's that's one of the big things when I came to the club. You know, the work that Kevin McHugh has done in the academy with the rest of the academy coaches. It's no good having an academy and trying to develop young players if you don't have people who, who are willing to play them. I'm willing to play them. Um, and the only way you find out if they're good enough is by giving them the platform, giving them that environment and giving them that opportunity. Delighted for Max. He looked a little bit nervous when I gave him a call. We tried to get him on a little bit quicker, but obviously the ball never went out to play. But again, hopefully he'll remember that. It'll give him a little bit of confidence. And uh, I've no doubt he'll get more game time as the season goes on. Yeah, and another big away game to Wexford next week as we start the second round of games. You know, How do you sum up the first round going into that? Look, sum up the first round. We've won two, we've drawn four. And we've lost three. Um, like I said, could we have won a, a, another two on top of that? I believe we could have. Um, if we look back at you know at the Wexford game here, I thought we could have won that game. I thought we obviously should have won the Cole Ramblers game, especially being two 0 up. But um, you know, you, you, if you give mistakes and you get punished for them, um, it, you know you've got to lift yourself back up again. And, and one thing these boys will do, no matter what, and I think the effort was there for everyone to see tonight, is that they'll work hard and they'll give maximum effort for Finn Harps Football Club. 100%.